I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Grey Organics. In this video, we will see one of the important notification given by ASRB. If you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel videos will be useful for agriculture education and ICER exam related videos. Our channel is the only channel to give agriculture and ICER videos in English in India. So you can subscribe our channel and you can share our channel with your friends also. So this is the annual recruitment calendar for the scientific and administrative positions in 2024 but this calendar should have been released in the starting of this year but it is released now only okay already for this assistant director and the notification has been given by february 2024 and its examination is in september 2024 but uh, the important uh, information and the important uh, opportunity for all msc and phd agriculture graduates is asrb net Next is ARS Agriculture Research Service and SMS that is Subject Matter Specialist. Next is STO Senior Technical Officer and this notification will be given in September 2024 and the examination will be in December 2024 and the mains examination will be in April 2025. Okay, here everyone will have doubt. So here clearly I will explain the individual for example for NET, for ERS, SMS and STO I will explain it separately. So with regard to all these vacancies the, there is a single examination so only one examination for all this net ers sms ST, and sto only one examination no need to write separately and uh, only one application if you are applying for uh, only for net there will be different fees payment if you are applying only for ers there will be different fees payment so you can pay the fees accordingly and you can apply accordingly you can apply for all the posts also so that is also you can note down here okay here another one is the exam pattern exam pattern will be 150 questions it will be only from your subject okay there will not be any general agriculture or general knowledge anything the total 150 questions will be from your subject only okay here with regard to net there will be 150 questions each question carries one mark and the negative mark will be of one third one third means 0 0.33 will be negative so this is for net net will be for all the subject regardless of any subject you can write the exam but the uh, next is the ers so for ers agriculture research service there will be vacancy vacancy will be notified so based on that only for example if your subject is agronomy there may be 12 vacancy 20 vacancy 30 vacancies like that some subjects may not have any vacancies also that we will come to know at the time of notification only similarly for sms it is also same exam but uh, the notification will be given for different subjects and the vacancy and the vacancy will be given for different subject similarly for st also vacancies will be given for different subject here with regard to the preliminary examination it is a computer based test, test. so for all these subjects for all these post there is a single examination with regard to the net sms and sto there is only prelims with regard to net the examination is only prelims examination if you are scoring the mark according to your category you will be qualified in net but with regard to this sms and sto there will be prelims examination so this cbt is prelims examination after that there will be interview based on that results will be published but for ers there will be mains examination this mains examination in april 2025 is only for ers examination not for sms and sto only for ers agriculture research service this uh, mains examination will be there after that there will be interview so interview will be conducted after this and the eligibility for all these vacancies are msc so no need to complete phd if you have completed msc you can apply if you are writing or if you are studying msc you can give net as one attempt so there will not be any problem in that the eligibility will be mentioned if you are completing your net if you have completed your degree on specific date so you are eligible for net like that they will mention in the notification only so there will not be any problem so if you are already studying your second year msc till you have not submitted the thesis you complete your msc you get your pdc as soon as possible at the time of vacancy notification you sh if you have completed your msc you may be eligible for applying this uh, ers sms and sto post after completing this preliminary examination and after the declaration of all the result you can download your net certificate whereas uh, the interview will be conducted separately for uh, ers and uh, it will be separately for sms and sto so if you are having any further queries you can give in your comment thank you